So I'm going to test out some of the HDMI sticks. Uh, this is the new one, the, the quad core uh, that's available on the armdevice.net member store. So this is the, the PCB. You can see how it looks. This is kind of like a, an engineering sample. So I'm going to carefully take it out here. You can see, well, you can see the PCB is in here. Quad core, free scale. It's connected right here, uh, so it's $89 uh, sold by one of the resellers that I met in Shenzhen. But there's all the whole, whole lot of the bunch. So these are on the market right now. This is what I got in the, on the market in Shenzhen. It's about $30 uh, with the A10. And there's an A10S coming out very soon. And uh, we can also connect that one. So it, that, that's the crazy thing about these HDMI sticks is that, you know, you connect, you update your TV. To a new ARM processor. So I'm going to disconnect this one. So you see, it's like here. It's connected behind the TV. I'm just going to take this one out and connect, connect this one. Like this. And the power over here. And take off the cap. Let's connect that one. So it looks. So it should boot up. Power, it's good. So here we have, um, this is the latest Cortex A8 single core. You can, you can get this on the ARM devices member store. It's $50 including shipping. But I found that one, uh, it's not exactly the same box, but it's $30 in Shenzhen on the market. So it's Cortex A8, it's an all winner A10, and it's booted up. And uh, where's my mouse? Mouse is here. You can see. Uh, I can go in the menus, so it's a full Android computer, Android 4.0. So that's this one. I turn it off. That's this one right here, connected on the back of the TV. And I connected with a, a USB hub. This is a $2 USB hub, so you can have four that hang out. And this is $30. $30 right now. On the market in Shenzhen, this is how it looks. But there's many other. So check out all these other ones that I have right here. So there's uh, Telechips. This is um, Telechips based, uh, Tisbird. Um, this is the Quad Core. So this is the new one available to members on my store for $89, including worldwide shipping. And uh, so available in, within a few days. I'm uh, the only one in the whole Europe, maybe also in like the Northern Hemisphere, or I don't know. I'm one of the only ones to have this one right now as a, as a test. And uh, here's a dual core uh, rock chip. This is around $40 dual core. So let's connect the, the rock chip one. So I use the same power on the side. Power right here. Oop. Like this. And I'll use the USB hub connected there. That's it. Connect this to the TV. Let's see what happens. Here, booting up the dual core, dual core from Shenzhen, $40 dual core HDMI stick. I'm gonna, I just installed a random launcher. So you can you see there? Um, Nova launcher, okay. Let's open up Nova launcher. Now it should be booted up. And you can see all the apps, all installed. So you have a dual core computer on your TV. So we have the single core $30 HDMI stick, the dual core 40, 50 around there, 50 something dollar uh, dual core HDMI stick and the quad core for 80 something dollar. Uh, but so these are very compact. So you only get a USB host and then you can expand uh, to more USBs using uh, some adapters. And sometimes one of the, the other USBs can double as a USB host as well. So you, you might have two, two USB hosts. It's kind of limited. But so if you still want to have more stuff going on, then what you can do is uh, get a real set-top box. And so there's still going to be a market for set-top box because you get three USBs, uh, at least three, and uh, Ethernet, huge Ethernet port, a real HDMI uh, uh, female port, optical, and all that stuff and all that's included and this side is even SD card and the SATA so you can have your uh, two terabyte three terabyte hard drive just uh, under or over or next to it and just uh, connect huge amount of data and I'm gonna show one really cool feature that this one runs uh, 
So we can see here, oh, the, the power is low on this. Um, so here's some, uh, it's actually doing both at the same time. You can see here, uh, can you get back a little bit? And you can see it's uh, mirroring, basically. I'm gonna launch this, this video here. It mirrors uh, over the local Wi-Fi. So I can try to go full screen here. And you can see uh, mirroring with mouse functionality. So suddenly your tablet is a mouse as well. And that's really awesome. And you can do the keyboard stuff. So if I wanna go, let's say, I wanna exit this one, like here. I just need to type, click the right place so I can use the mouse. You can see that I'm uh, moving the mouse around. If you go back a little bit, there. I'm gonna click exit the full screen. I'm gonna type in. Here, I can type in with this. I'll type in uh, Fairbax. And I'll, uh, then I'll use the touch free feature where I see the mirroring. I just go from one to the other, back and forward, and then I'll pick a Sharpex video. And everything is still mirrored here, and actually the scrolling is pretty smooth. I mean, it could it could, it could probably be smoother, but uh, I mean, this is this is like just an application you install on any Android device, and you get mirroring. So it's kind of like an advanced kind of thing. Oh, let's uh, let's enter this one. I'd like to see this. We can take this one. So mirroring and then full screen. So, uh, so you imagine you sit back. Of course, this can be optimized. I'm sure it can be optimized. Uh, I would like to have, a, I can try to show you the, the, the home YouTube, YouTube mode. So this is just the home screen on YouTube. And, uh, this is uh, remote controlling YouTube. You can see on the back. If you move back a little bit, you can see. So it's, it doesn't really matter if the, the, the images are instant here. They're not really instant, like they send them over later. But the commands are kind of instant and kind of smooth. And uh, But of course, it'd be nice if this was taking up the whole tablet screen. But this is just one application that High Media is doing. It's called High Control, and it's really cool. And of course, uh, you can go back to home. And this is the home home menu and uh, browser and all that. So we've got just the idea. You could have that kind of application running on these eventually as well. And so the idea is you upgrade your, your smart TV. You upgrade every six months. You get the newest ones. You get the best ones. And you can even get, if you want, to have more ports because, you know, just get a slightly bigger one and get all the ports and all that stuff. And... Uh, set that box and of course we would like to have Chrome OS and Google TV running at the same time as Android. So it's not just an Android logo, you would have a Google TV logo and a Chrome logo. They're all this space of three logos here.